Hey everybody, we're back for some more Disco Elysium. Uh, we got this one, Derealization. Revocal Special Administration Region, La Cay La Ca oh, Caillou! I'm just a kid who's four. Um, man, nothing is wrong. Let's just internalize it, boom. Let's do it. All right, let's find a door here, let's, let's do it. Let's knock. The door rattles against your knuckles, but there's no response. You hear the elderly woman's voice calling out from inside. Stop banging on the door. I'm not letting any more strangers inside. This is the police. Open the door. The police? Everyone knows the police don't come round here. I'm not joking. No, I already told you. I won't be responsible for any more strangers getting into the building. Go check the backyard door. Maybe someone there will. Kim, tell her we're real policemen. Madame, I assure you, we are real police officers. Stop banging on the door. I'm not letting any more strangers inside. It don't matter who I am. Now, the police? Everyone, no, no. Go check the backyard. All right, go check the backyard, she say. All right. I uh, got my lowdown on the world. Got some stuff in our inventory that I don't know what's new. Is this the back way? Oh, it's the green shit, the greenhouse. This is where we want it to be, all right. Just a closed door, but you look at it suspiciously. Yeah, I want to open it up. Alright, nothing. Alright. Let's knock at the back door. There must be another way. A garden hose. Till the snow melts. Chairs and tables eaten by rain and rot. The balcony with a view to the yard and the hanging. So we can talk to her from this side. Oi, mate! Are you trying to sneak up on me? Come to slit my throat in my sleep. Pigs come to take me out. Trying to snuff me out. Man. Smoker up there could be a witness. Him? You see a young man on the balcony nursing a cigarette. His eyes have been following you for a while. I'm not looking for any trouble, officer. Uh, no trouble for me. I just want to know what's going on here. I don't want to be seen talking to the gendarmerie, if that's okay. I just want to finish my cigarette. It's... The god of cigarettes and youth. Ask him if he's got anything to spare. Actually, we really Is need to talk really to him. that important? All right, but make it quick. Once I finish this cigarette, I have to run. Looks like you got a good view of the Whirling's backyard. Can you tell me anything about the hanging? I'd even go as far as to say that the view is a little too good. Do you have any estimate for when the body will be taken away? We will remove the body as soon as possible. Now tell us, where were you last Sunday? Oh, he waves lazily with a cigarette. You already asked me that, didn't you? I'm pretty sure I didn't. No, not you. Some more muscular type. The lieutenant takes out his little blue notebook and writes something down. And when did you speak to this more muscular gentleman? Last week? I don't know, look, he looks around the courtyard again. Old patio chairs, dead house plants litter the scene. You didn't answer the question. What were you doing last Sunday? He sighs. I had a friend over. What kind of friend? It was my Sunday friend. A Sunday friend? How intriguing. Makes sense. Friends are nice on Sunday. You don't have to work. You can just spend time with pals, watching rugby, and drinking beer. What's your friend's real name? Did he see something? He doesn't reply, gesturing no with a cigarette. In the neighboring windows, you can see faint reflections of a silhouette all from different angles. Can you tell me your name? My name? My name is Martin Martinez. Martin Martinez, good local name. Let's go with that. 
All right, we'll talk later. You're fucking lying. Convince him to stay. Oh yeah, let's do that. Woo! Hey, listen, you're about, lower your voice. I'm just trying to make things okay again. Can we meet somewhere else? For a moment, the man on the balcony seems almost vulnerable. Something moves in the depths of his feline eyes, compassion, and a hint of understanding. When he speaks again, his voice is soft and deliberate. I am sorry, but I really don't have the information you're looking for. With a flick of his wrist, he sends the cigarette butts sailing over the rail. But hold on, what's that? For a split second, his hand lingers, as though gesturing towards a stone placed right next to the front door. It's a sign. Good luck with the investigation. He walks away. See you, buddy. The stone. Yes. Oh, continue. There we go. He's gone. We should run after him, see where he went. No point in running. Uh, tenements like these often have multiple exits. If he doesn't want to talk to us, uh, then he'll know how to hide himself. You're right, he probably didn't have anything important to say anyway. He could be a witness, him or his Sunday friend. Either way, we need to look into that muscular type who's asking about our case. He did leave us a sign, did you see that? He wanted to draw attention to that stone right over there. I see it. All right, let's do that. Is this one of those keystones? Turn it over. Nice, there's a key beneath it. This must be the front door. Pity doesn't have the apartment number on it. The building has many apartments and the man can be in any of them. How are we gonna find the right one? We'll just go in and see. We did it! We got inside the apartment. That's me dabbing, by the way. It's a little victories. But now we have this whole new place to explore. And we gotta get that body down. But that big, big muscular guy's in the way. What do you want to say to me, journal? Ask around for his apartment number. All right. Eviction notices and missing pets are plastered on top of each other. Cleaning chemicals, nice. Oh, I don't think I don't see you there. Flip up glasses. Plus one logic, minus one authority. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, what's our authority at? Five, we can live with that. Makes our logic a bit better, right? Our logic's now two, so we're pretty much unstoppable, TBH. All right, let's see what this is. An old shoe rack, boots, sneakers, and old slippers. Cool. Oh, sure, let's just walk into this dark abyss. Oh, or just close the door. Go in. Excuse me, you don't want to go in? All right. A loud rumbling snore comes from within, apartment 12. Oh, is that the door out? I thought that was a, yeah. That makes sense, we'll, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go right back in. Don't worry about it. Hope you enjoy this. Oh, where the fuck am I? That wasn't the door. Full of cigarette butts and electrical wires. Oh, wow, this place is, blows my mind. Oh. Look at all of these cans. That is so much money. Oh, look at that, we're making money. I don't know where I'm gonna sleep tonight, TBH. Growing rosemary, thyme, and a cactus. A door to be remembered. This is door to 29. Complete silence. Whoever lives here isn't home. This is the door to apartment 30. Voices turn within, singing along to some buoyant dance track. I can't get the bottles, but I want them. All right, well, we're just going to go back inside. You can go. You can pick up your pace, detective. Low on health, but points into endurance. So that is actually the exit, okay. So 
Someone's drawn a five-pointed star on the wall. Yeah, I can see that. Hail Satan. The door's been closed with a padlock. A chalk number drawn on the board says 11. Examine the padlock. It's a salt lump of metal, but the shackle is deeply corroded. A salt pair of chain cutters would make short work of it. Tool not in hand. All right, we'll just leave. Remember that we have chain cutters, though. We, if we get chain cutters, we want to go there. Postcard. This crumpled up postcard depicts an open air market in Boogie Street five years ago. A vendor smiles as dead roosters line his stalls hung by their feet from the canopy. Red blood flows onto the muddy street. Blurry shadows of people pass. All right, normal. Door number nine is locked. There's that fucking old lady. Ooh, making money, 421. Legalize it. All right, check this door. Apartment eight, the mailbox is overflowing. The graffito says a firing squad for the rich. Hello. Give me a moment. The cold never does any good for my bronchitis. She sneezes into a dirty <laughs> handkerchief. This woman's health is failing her. There's not much to do, not, not in this damp. Um, this won't take long, we only have a few Go questions. Ahead, what do you want to know, policeman? I have a few questions about those apartments. Um, is one of the residents on vacation? Their mailbox is overflowing. People come and go. I don't keep an eye on everyone. Who lives behind the padlock door? Oh, that one is a scientist, a future scholar. Suddenly the old lady's face is beaming. I think he studies astrology at the community college. Education's good. I always tell them to study. Astrology. Something to do with all those stars around his door. He asked me to leave his drawings up on the wall. Are you sure you don't mean astronomy? That's what I said. Astrology. Lieutenant shakes his head as though to say, let it go. Come on, people try to keep up any standards here. It's not about stars. Forget it. Uh, who lives in apartment 10? No one lives there. It's been empty for months. But I heard woman wa someone walking inside. Impossible. The cleaning lady sh says, shaking her head. I would know if someone had moved in there. She pauses, eyeing the hallway. Maybe it's those counterculture people again. Breaking into our house like it's a public space. You're a policeman. Be good and take a look at it. Sure. I'll go see what I can find. All right, great, young people, they're worse than rats, you know. Oh, that's good. Tell me about Cindy. The artist, she scoffs. Nothing I do about her, I'm afraid. She ruins the walls faster than I can clean them. Still. She leans on, on her broom. She leaves an old lady to her business more than I can say for others. That's all, thanks. See ya. Okay. So that's probably the door outside. Foreclosed. Someone has torn down the wall so we can actually walk in here, huh? An old grocery list on the table and some checks. Fire. Oh, I thought that was a fire extinguisher. <laughs> and this thing. Oh, hello. Shift in temperature. The air chills around you. Rub your sides for warmth. A former architect stands before a slice of window, a room plan in her hand. A cold wave has made the air in the building stand still and frozen with temperatures falling down to negative 20 degrees Celsius. Her face is red from the cold. She's breathing on her fingers, clasping the plan. Traces of sadness are visible in her, in her expression. The plan. Faint pencil lines on paper depict the same place, but a missing eastern wall connects the room with a neighboring apartment. Ideas for arranging the furniture have been jotted down. Look around yourself. It's clean and empty, with new tapestry embellishing the walls. A standard HB graphite pencil has fallen off a three-legged stool in the middle of the room. Finished thought. That was cool. What does Shiver do? Or oh, sorry, it's, yeah, Shivers. Tune into the city. Nice. That was cool. All right, so that's gonna take me So I want to go down here. <clears throat> Press space to stop. Hmm. Don't click the wrong door again. I guess I'm dumb. So what happened was, I see that it says exit here. 
which makes sense. It's the exit to the building and this is not the exit to the building. But I thought, why would the exit be on the entrance side? But I understand that that was just a little game breaking change there. Not game breaking, sorry. That was like for me as the gamer to know that that was the exit. Reality did not exist for that decision. All right, now we're on the top floor. All right. My badge is in here probably. Nah, but we got some plastic. More plastic. We're rich. We rich. Ooh, the piggies have learned how to saunter up staircases. I didn't think you could do that with hooves, but here you are. I'm gonna say that's right. We have evolved. Yeah, I can see that. Cool mutation. She crosses her arms. That smell coming from her paint bucket, it's not paint, it's heavy fuel oil. What are you doing to the wall? Can't you tell I'm painting a beautiful mural? Mural, huh, Merle? Hey, Earl. An arrow graffito visible from low orbit. Orbit, oh my God, reading so hard. She studies the wall, suddenly pensive. I haven't really started it yet. I'm waiting for the right words. So you don't want to know, you don't know what to write. Have you ever tried your hand at graffito? When faced with a blank wall, most people write unimaginative stuff like pigs go home and Mona was here. We rarely see pigs around here. They're just union cads and my name's not Mona. So she wants to be something true and total. I have an opinion on this. Want to hear it? Yeah. I love public art. Don't mind us. Keep doing what you're doing. Thanks. I'm sure the inspiration will come to me now that I have an official RCM stamp of approval. Is that heavy fuel oil we're going to go from there? We've lessened her desire to deface the building. That's great. He studies the contents of Cindy's bucket. Red dyed heavy fuel oil intended for exclusive use in government vehicles to be precise. What did you think I was using? Aquarelles? Sucked it out of a cop's fuel tank myself back in Jamrock. She really did it. And she's proud of it too. All right, fumes are bad for you. You better hand it over. That's some clever, clever cultural commentary. You ain't seen nothing yet, piggy boo. So you won't talk to us about the murder, but maybe you could tell us something about the, murder's vic the murder victim's missing armor. What do I care about some fucking tin eggshells? Isn't armor art? Art for the um, body? Come on, Cindy, just help me out here. Ugh, oh, all right, sad piggy. I'll give you this one. I saw a little girl in the fishing village running around with military-grade handwear. Looked cute as hell. If you haven't been there, the village is a shithole down the coast from the main plaza. She waves her hand in a general westward direction. Have a good time. Got it. Piggy, I have no idea why I just told you that. She looks at you a little sad suddenly. You look like a shaggy dog left in the, in the rain for too long. I have a weakness for animals. Catch you later, Cindy. I'm going to call that one a, a big old W for this guy right there. This lock looks rusty. We can't get in. All right, give me, my, give me my thought back. I just saw that. All right, I guess it's gone. Maybe if I run up here again. Nope. All right. Find the armored gloves. Yep. Investigate apartment 10. Good God, this place looks great. Plus one to electrochemistry. Uh, chemistry. Yeah, let's just see what it looks look, look like. Oh yeah, oh nice. Fashion show, it's a fashion show. But I like these pants better. Holy shit, that's $5? Oh my god, I just more than doubled my money. Is that a bed? Someone's been sleeping here recently. It's probably Cindy, TBH. Nothing else in here? All right. Huh. <sighs> Oh, 
I hope I don't die because I don't sleep. Wouldn't that be the ultimate twist? My playthrough's over because I don't have a place to sleep. Alright, let's go check out a... Excuse me, apartment 10. Let's play this one. Knock. You can feel tension on the other side. This time the steps come closer. Who is this? Demands a female voice, wary and tense. This is the police. Open up. Do I have to open the door? You hear the clacking of heels again as the other side walks right up to the door. Her tone is now getting a defensive edge. Do you have a warrant? I'm not obligated to open the door if you don't have a warrant. Let's go. We don't have a reason to get inside that apartment. This apartment was supposed to be empty. Did you break in here? Excuse me? Of course not. There's no sweet talking your way in there. Be official. I don't need a warrant if I, sus if I suspect there's been a break in. Then open the door so I can verify your identity. Oh, come on. That was smart. Nodding towards the unlocked door. Wow. Don't mind me, just gonna take these shoes. Indirect modes of taxation. Is that, that's not a skill, is it? All right, what do we got here? Looks like a fine mattress. Blister pack of medicine peeks out of the boss. You shouldn't take it. Real estate agent. Satisfied? My name is Mariel Charpentier, and I'm an agent with Martinez Reality Associates. I am not breaking in, as I have every right to be here. The keys. See? She jingles a set of keys. Her voice is really cheerful, despite her obviously hating you. Do you want to see my ID as well? You can't legally ask for it, but why not? Want to see my residence permit too? She fumbles through her purse, fishing out a light, paper-clad passport. I don't need your ID. I just need to ask you some questions. Very well. But please make it quick. She slips the passport back into her purse and checks her watch. I need to be in La Delta in an hour. Wow, for five o'clock? Get it going. Um, what are you doing here? She sighs and looks around. I need to get ready for the next lease. But as you can see, the previous tenant completed completely trashed the place. Reprehensible. Who lived here? It was some kind of mor morbid, moribund old man he used to be a business owner. You'd think they'd make rent. She stops hesitating. But that was months ago. Anyway, was there anything you wanted or is that it? I'm in a hurry. Who lived in the foreclosed apartment down the hallway? Oh, that's another huge mess. The former tenant owes us three months of rent. Three! We closed the apartment and planned on auctioning off the valuables, but... And again, I have no idea how stupid mistakes like this can even happen. But Ron, when he came to close the door, didn't close the neighboring door. And there's a hole in the wall. So preppy. She's probably on some low-grade performance enhancer, enhancers, like Preptide or Paracanine. A hole in the wall, can you believe it? She spreads her hands, and then the tenant ran off with his stuff. He's gone, the money's gone, just like that. She snaps her fingers. Oh, it irks her, the incompetence. So wait, what happened with the wall? Don't ask me what happened with the wall. I have no idea how we're going to fix. find the time and resources to fix it. Both apartments are now unrentable. Both. She's still shaking her head, manicured hands now crossed over her chest. That's all. Thank you. Of course, she replies with a smile, but her eyes remain glazed over. She's been wanting, been waiting for you to leave. See you later, alligator. Hey, old lady, don't worry. It's just a real estate agent. Give me a moment. I didn't find any counterculture people in apartment number 10. It was just a real estate agent setting the room up for new tenants. I see. She takes out her handkerchief and wipes her nose. I hope some good people are finally going to move in. This place needs them. I say I can say, yes, some highly technological wizards are going to save this place. It'll be an envisionary innovation utopia. No one is coming. There will be nothing but squalor unless we start killing real estate agents. Lax women and sexual deviants, that's who to come. I'm sure everything will find. This apartment building needs slow change. Impep imperceptibly slow. Yes, well, she doesn't know what to say, so she just coughs and repeats. I hope they're good people. Uh, goodbye. Wow. S look at this. We did it. We did it! All right. So there's holes in the apartments. Knock. 
knock, knock. You have to knock five times because he likes drawing stars. So five times, five points on a star. All right, you win this one. I don't know why I can't walk in here. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're in there. We're in it. We're in it to win it. Money. Shower curtains are covered in some sort of slime. That's great. That's great. That's what we wanted. Oh, I think Julie just got home. All right, everybody. We're actually going to leave this video here. Um, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in a few days for another uh, episode of Disco Elysium. If this is your first time on the channel, like and subscribe. Hey, do it. Why not? Helps the channel out a bunch and will inspire me to keep making this content. Have a good one. We love you. And as always, GG's.